Hey, 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 good looking. You want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine and swing on in my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, we're going to go back in time and we're going to do a retro recipe. And it is, oh my sherry, it is cherry jello salad. And it is really easy to make. And I want to sit there and share this one with you. So please grab a hold of this vine that I'm throwing your way. And let's get swinging on into my kitchen. And let's get cooking. Good looking. My sweet chori. So let's go ahead and let's get started. You're going to be needing one six ounce package of cherry uh, jello. And as you see, I already went ahead and I dumped it into my bowl. And now we're going to be adding one and a half cups of boiling water. Let's go ahead and add our water. Now I'm just going to go ahead with my wire whisk and I'm going to sit there and get this all to dissolve. But while we're waiting for this all to dissolve up, I want you to get yourself out a can of the cherry pie filling. Go ahead and let's open that up. All right, now that all of our jello has dissolved, I want you to grab that can of pie filling that we opened up. Let's empty the contents of the pie filling all into the jello. And be sure to scrape the inside of your can. We all know you don't want to waste any of that goodness. And now go ahead and we're going to sit there and make sure we mix this all together. Now, if I was to stick true to fashion with the recipe that they made it with, they made it with the Jolly Good Soda. Well, they haven't made that soda for a while. Or at least I haven't been able to find that soda for a while. And I'm just going to sit there and choose to use the Mountain Dew. Otherwise, you could sit there and use any lemon lime soda of your preference, but we're going to be needing one and one-fourth cup. Now, a word of warning before we do add our soda to our jello mixture, I want you to pour it in slowly, and I do mean pour it in slowly, because this is going to foam up. Okay, I have my one-fourth cup. And here is the one cup. I remember pour it in slowly. And make sure you have this all well mixed. And traditionally, my family would put this in like a 8x8 eight eight little uh, baking dish, square one. I'm not doing that. This is perfectly fine with me of how th this is done this way. But I'm going to sit there and put a cover on it. And then I'm going to sit there and take it over to my refrigerator and I'm going to let it sit in there until it's all firmed up. And then I'll bring you back and I'll show you how 
I sit there and serve it all up. Let's check up on our, oh my, Cherie Jello salad. Man, it's looking really good. So I'm gonna sit there and scoop some up inside. here I'm gonna grab one of my wonton crab cakes and I'm gonna sit there and just add that because this is my snack oh what the hell let's have two of them now that's how easy it was to make homage Charlie cherry jello salad now, if you like what you saw here today, give me a big old thumbs up, share this video, and if you're not a subscriber yet to my channel, subscribe today, tap that little bell, that way you always be notified every time I put out a new video, and y'all come back now, yeah.